Hey guys, so today we are going to be adding three mixed numbers. We also have a parentheses in there, which if you guys remember from PEMDAS, that parentheses comes first. But my first step is I want to make sure that all of these denominators are the same. So I'm going to go ahead and do that first. So I have one-fourth, three-fourths, and five-twelfths. Since I have two fours and one twelve, I'm going to list my multiples for four and twelve. I'm not going to list my multiples for four twice, but that would be pointless. So I'm going to list my multiples, four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twelve, twenty-four. So my lowest number that they have in common is twelve. So this is my LCD. So now I know that all three of my denominators need to have a twelve on the bottom. 12, 12, and 12. So now I need to ask myself, starting with the 1 fourth, what do I multiply by 4 to get 12? 4 times 3 gives me 12. So I'm also multiplying the numerator by 3. 1 times 3 gives me 3. Now I'm moving over to the 3 fourths. 4 times 3 gives me 12. So I'll also multiply the top by 3. 3 times 3 gives me 9. <clears throat> so what times 12 gives me 12? 12 times 1. So you multiply the top by 1. So this fraction just stays the same. So now we have 3 twelfths, 9 twelfths, and 5 twelfths. So now I'm going to rewrite my problem with them all having the same denominator. And I'm just going to write it over here because I don't have enough room. So 5 and 3 twelfths plus, open parentheses, 9 twelfths plus 1 and 5 twelfths. So, using PEMDAS, I want to solve what's in our parentheses first. So we need to focus on 9 twelfths plus 1 and 5 twelfths. So we have a whole number of 1. There's nothing to add it to, so we're going to go ahead and bring our 1 down. Now we're focused on not adding 9 twelfths and 5 twelfths. 9 plus 5 is 14. So now I have 1 and 14 over 12. This is an improper fraction, so we need to convert that into a mixed number and then combine it back with this 1. So 12 goes into 14 one time. How many is left over? Two, put it over my original denominator. So I'm going to combine this one with this one and two twelfths. So that gives me two and two twelfths. I'm going to erase this down here. So now I have five and three twelfths plus 2 and 2 twelfths. So now I just have two mixed numbers, so I'm going to add the whole numbers first. 5 plus 2 gives me 7. Now I can add my fractions. They already have common denominators, so it's super simple. 3 twelfths plus 2 twelfths. 3 plus 2 is 5 over 12. 5 twelfths cannot be simplified. So 7 and 5 twelfths would be my final answer. Okay. We are going to go over one more. So we're going to look at B together. So I want all of my fractions to have the same denominator. So I've got one fifth, three tenths, and two fifths. I have two fives, so I'm going to list my multiples for five, and I have one ten. So five, ten, fifteen, ten, twenty. My lowest number that I have in common is a ten. And guys, if all three of these numbers had different denominators, we would list all three. Um, denominators for multiples. 
But since five and five is the same, we're just gonna list our multiples of five once. So we know our LCD is 10. So that means that all of our denominators need to have a 10. All right, so we're gonna start with this one fifth. Five times what equals 10? Five times two. I'm gonna do the same to the numerator. Five times two is 10. One times two is two. 10 times one equals 10. So I'm also gonna do three times one, which is three. This one already had 10 as the denominator, so it just stays the same. Five times two equals 10. So I'll also multiply the top by two. Two times two gives me four. So now I have two tenths, three tenths, and four tenths. So now I'm gonna rewrite my problem with the denominators the same. I'm gonna rewrite it over here. I've got parentheses, two tenths. I made sure to keep these in order. So when I rewrite it, I'm not super confused. Plus three tenths plus four tenths. So first I need to add what's in parentheses. Two tenths plus three tenths. Two plus three is five tenths. And then I can add the four tenths. Five plus, oh, <laughs> I got ahead of myself. Five plus four is nine. Keep it over 10. So nine tenths would be your answer. So you just need to remember to convert all of your denominators to common denominators and then reset your problem with all the denominators the same. Solve parentheses first. Um, if you get an improper fraction, make sure you convert it to a mixed number. If you have a fraction that can be simplified, Make sure you guys are simplifying it. All right. Thank you, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.